What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Poke Park 2. In the last episode, we entered the Unaware House and began to make friends with all of the Pokemon around here, grabbing a whole lot of items and stuff as well as we are making our way to the end. Now, this is the entrance to the Scientorium. And as you can see, there is a flame icon on that, so we're going to want to hit that open with Tepig. So let's do that. Couple more hits, and it should go down. There we go. All right, let's head on inside. And we're going to be running into a few things here, but first things for... Oh, I guess I got a cutscene anyway. We are free! Oh, they ran away. Hey, do you guys know what I'm looking for? How about Boundless Courage? One chance left. What could it be? What could it be? I don't really care. We want to go to the Scientorium. Could you be a meanie? Hey, is that the correct answer? Correct. You're amazing. <laughs> I did it. The Scientorium is under here, but without Clink and company, the elevator won't work. So that means the correct answer was Clink. If you want to go to the Scientorium, you'll need those three. Go look for Clink Clang and Clink Clang and bring them back here. And they just ran away, but I think they're still in the warehouse. But they want to be free. We got to let them be free. That's not very nice. I don't want to go track them down and make them do something against their will. But I guess we do have to go look for them. So let's head on up here. And I guess we can start back this way. There is. That's a golden berry. I will happily take that. And I believe those respawn as well, if I'm not mistaken. Also, hello there, Dust Noir. Uh, I'll talk to you. Oh, there's Clink right off the bat. Go to Delusion. We have to be a gear again. What? Only once more? If it's only once more, it's okay. Aw, what a good sport. Aw, I, you know what? I sympathize with them. I really, really do. I want them to be happy. But we're gonna, okay, we got Dust Noir up here. Let's go talk to the big guy um, over, well, there is this back here as well. We got some hard hats. But, oh, hold on. And we also have a box we can go over. And, ooh, we got two chests in here. Let's take a look. In this one, we get 10 rotor motors. That seems like a lot. I don't know who I'm gonna give those to, but I'll take them. And in this one, we have 10 compass. Mm, okay, interesting. Uh, I mean, not bad. I'll definitely take all of that. That's going to come in handy maybe at some point. There you are, Dust Noir. Greetings. Dust Call urged me to come here. The warehouse is indeed comforting. I feel familiar spirit signals. Might I interest you in a battle? Sure. I will use Snivy for this. It's probably going to be a little bit tougher because of it, especially because of the claustrophobic area, but I should be able to make it work still. Watch out. Oh, okay, I was trying to dodge around that. That was not... That did not work out. Let's hit you with that. Ah! Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The punches are coming in fast and strong. Back up. Okay, hit you with this combo. Perfect. And there we can go knock your, knock your health down just a little bit more. And then dodge back in. And then come on quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, that is a nice follow-up. I like it. That's actually... Oh, I didn't think he was going to reach me from there. I thought I was far back enough. Whoa! Calm down now. There we go. That was actually really close. Hmm, I never imagined I would lose. I'm interested in your spirit. Is that a threat? That sounds like a threat to me. I don't want you to be interested in my spirit. In fact, if anything, I would rather you be interested in literally anything else. Because, uh... Yeah, that does not sound too good. All right, let's go see if we can track down the other two. I believe one of them is up here, actually. So we're going to want to stay up top, and then I think the other one is down below. So let's go this way. Yep, I can see him across the way. That's Kling Clang over there. Which, by the way, super underrated Pokemon. Big fan of it. Always have been. I think it's awesome. You want to go underground to the Scientorium? For what for? To rescue a friend? Oh, oh. I can't resist stories like this. I'll be happy to help. What a bro. What a freaking bro. I love you, Kling Clang. You're great. Get, get on back there. All right, let's go see if we can find Clang now, which I think Clang is actually down here somewhere. Let's see. Not over there. Let's take a look around. Oh, there you are. You're hiding kind of sideways by the crates. Bang. You want to ride the elevator? Who are you that says this? Are you one of the gears moving the contraption called Poke Park? No, you are free Pokemon. 
If that's so, I will, okay, that just makes me feel bad. I thought he was going to get like defiant, like, oh, you're free, so you get to make that decision? Well, go to hell. But no, apparently he actually does feel like he needs to do it because we're free. I don't, I, I, I just feel bad. I feel bad for Clang. Don't be such a defeatist, bro. Have a little bit more self-respect. All right, let's head back. And we're going to get that open. And gosh, it is such a struggle going across those beams. It really is. You have no idea. Doing that in four directions is not the easiest thing in the world. All right, let's get this thing open. Okay, you Pokemon yearning to breathe free, do these Pokemon a favor and open that elevator door one last time. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate your assistance. Classic clink right there, I, I guess. But yay, they did it. They friended clink, clang, and clang, clang all at the same time. Man, is that a mouthful to say every single time. Now, you're probably wondering, what about Solosis and Duosion? How do we make friends with them? Well, you will see here in a moment, but I got to head down the elevator first. Now, you can go to the Scientorium. Thanks, everyone. All right, we're right behind you, Duosion. Let's head on down. You have to stand on this pad for a moment. Once it starts to glow, then it'll eventually open up. And we may proceed off to the Scientorium. And here we are. Now, there's not a whole lot going on in this place. This is technically the third and final area of the tech area. But there's not a ton going on. You just got really these two and then one other Pokemon. Thanks for earlier. Thanks to you. I was able to return to the underground. If you feel like it, will you help me with my research? I want a photo of Mana sleeping. It's not easy to take a photo of Mana sleeping. Maybe if you start snoring next to her, she might fall asleep as well. Now, there's one part of that that the game does not tell you about. There's one stipulation. Um, we actually have to befriend Mana first. So we can't just go and sit next to her, try to get her to fall asleep. She will not fall asleep. You have to actually help her out first. Um, and then you'll be able to activate that. So something to keep in mind. We'll get back to that later. Hello, welcome to the Scientorium. Play with me too, please. Sure. What are you going to do, battle or a quiz? Okay. Answer all correctly, something good might happen. All right, first question coming up. Snorlax was taking a nap under a big tree there. Apom came in, left one berry. Then Trubbish came in, left two berries. Then Rhea Necklace left one stink berry. Then Duosion took two berries. Now what was the Snorlax doing under the big tree? It's a trick question, taking a nap. That is correct. Second question, Munchlax had one berry, but he dropped it while taking a walk. Buneary felt sorry for Munchlax and gave two berries to him. Then Watchdog came by. He delivered the berry that Munchlax had dropped. Munchlax was very grateful. He decided to share the berries among the three of them as thanks. How many berries does Munchlax get to eat? That would be one. There's only one question left. Third question, there was one berry on a box. Now, how many berries are there in the box? Don't know. That is correct. You have a good listening ear. Now, here's a good thing. Ta-da, you can be my friend. So, Solosis is our friend. That's cool. Du Duosion uh, remains to be seen. But now we're going to want to head on up to this door. Greetings. It's so rare that we get guests down here. I'm Rio Nicholas. My hobby is the weird and wonderful. Could the one who made the poster portal be you? Why, of course, the poster portal is one of my marvelous inventions. Do you know what Darkrai, Gothitelle, and the others are doing? Wait a split second. Darkrai, I haven't seen him in a considerable time. How is he doing? Indeed, is he well? It sure looks like Gothitelle has taken a shine to Wish Park. This isn't the time for chit-chat. Pokepark's Pokemon are being taken to Wish Park, and the Dark Vortex has appeared. Pay attention, it's a big problem. The Dark Vortex? What do you mean? Give me the details. Haven't you noticed the big black scroll? I mean, Oshawott, it's kind of hard for Rhea Nicholas to notice when they're stuck down here in a freaking basement, but whatever. When it gets big enough, it's going to swell up the whole world. What are you saying? I almost missed it. I simply cannot miss a chance to study something so interesting. Interesting, he says. Dark vortex, darkness, absorbing everything, even light. Wait, could it be? Now tell me, are the wish bells ringing with regularity? The wish bells? Cup. Oh, excuse me. Cough Egregious and the others kept them from ringing, but why do you ask? Wait, what? You have identified the culprit in the matter. The wish bells regulate time. If time stops, the warp in space grows, raising gravity to new levels. It's just common sense. Common sense? Common sense? 
Oh, Darkrai, what are you thinking? We need to get to Wish Park so we can stop Darkrai. Right you are. Common sense. Just use the portal right behind me. It's the prototype portal to Wish Park. But it's broken right now. I'll fix it, but could you go to the lab and bring me the Cytron Collider? What's a Cytron Collider? Why, thank you for asking. It will take me some time to explain. However, so by the time you understand, the Vortex is likely to have swallowed everything. Ah, no explanation needed after all. What a pity. It's such a delightful one. To reach the lab, exit the door, and bear directly to the left. Yeah, it's the other door that was not... I did not go towards right at the beginning. And also, is there any, like, items in here? Just in case. That I could possibly grab? No? Okay. So yeah, this is the lab over here. Just immediately hook a left. And we are actually going to be playing another little mini game, much like we did in to get the bravery beard in the cavern and to get the uh, hammer for timber way back at the beginning of the game. It's the final one. Let's do this thing. And we're going to definitely have to use well, basically everybody to make this work. Open the treasure chest in time. But we'll definitely start with Snivy here. We got 160 seconds, which is a lot of time to do this. So let's go. And I cannot really change directions as quickly as I would like. Grab these berries here. And then get spinning. All right, take me on up. There we go. Can I get to this platform in time before it moves? Oh, I thought I was going to reach it. I really want that red berry as well. So let's try to get that. There we go. And just keep using Snivy just because, you know, she is the best. Well, until I get to this part where I have to use Tepig. But as soon as we're able to get ourselves some timers. There we go. Oh, never mind. Not that way. Uh, we might be able to put that to use, but let's, uh, no, I'm going to grab the berry. I know it's just one, but why would I want to leave any of these behind if I can actually grab them? Let's go down here. And we're going to want to go all the way to the very bot. Well, not the very, very bottom, but close to the bottom. Well, I don't know. Should I go after those? I think I will. Just in case. You never know. It's probably super unnecessary, but it does give me like 30 seconds back. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's go take this freaking thing down. And you see that there is a weight there, which we'll pick up, but we're going to immediately drop once we fall down. Pick that up again. And there, right on the button. Oh, Tepig, what is that freaking throwing angle? Okay, let's, like that. Oh, and all of a sudden now he doesn't want to throw it. What is, what is going on? Okay, yeah, fine. That, I guess that's good enough. Anyway, we got the treasure chest. We did it. I know I missed out on a few things, but we'll have to come back at some point. It's all right. We can always do these again, go after additional things. And there we go. All right, let's head on back and go and deliver this to Rhea Nicholas. Um, I'm actually going to switch to Pikachu for this part, though. And head on inside. Mostly just because I really, really hate running around with Tepig. I really do. Uh, can I talk to you? There we go. Thank you for your efforts. Now the portal will open. I must tell you that it will be too hard for you to open it alone. This portal opens when everyone concentrates on their dreams. Any Pokemon can help, but little Pokemon tend to have big dreams. So it might be helpful to have many little Pokemon cooperating. Well, we did make friends with Joltik, and there were also there's also like Eevee and Rog and Rolla and Solosis, and I think we're fine. I really think we're fine. Let's get this thing open. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's all. There's plenty of little Pokemon involved in this situation. Volt uh, Voltorb counts? Yeah, Clink definitely counts as well. I know there's a lot of big Pokemon too, but here we go. We've got the whole gang together. Let's get this thing open. Oh, I think this one's filling up the fastest yet. Holy crap, yeah, it is. That was incredibly quick. Wait, why is Pikachu creating like an energy ball above him? That seems extremely unnecessary in this situation. Yeah, I think that was our highest friendship power out of everything. So I'll take that. Hey, Pikachu, remember what Coffagree just said? Wish Park has four zones and attractions. We finally reached Wish Park's final zone. We're close to settling this. 
And we are going to be settling this in the next episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Poke Park 2. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. Next time, we're going to be taking on the final attraction here in Wish Park and seeing if we can put an end to all of this nonsense once and for all. I will see you all in the next one.